Hi, I'm Lee Watts and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about inbound and outbound marketing, the differences between the two, and which you should be using for your business. So, outbound marketing is what we tend to think about as traditional marketing. Outbound, outbound marketing includes cold calls, trade shows, it is anything where we are interrupting people's day thinking to talk about your business, to talk about what you are trying to do. Inbound marketing is earning your customer or client's attention. It is putting out content marketing. It is putting out thought leadership so that your ideal client will or, or customer will trust you and believe you have credibility to take the relationship to the next step or to call you or whatever it is. So inbound marketing is pulling, 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 pulling customers and clients to you based on your credibility, based on thought leadership, based on your expertise. So you're constantly putting out things to draw people in. So outbound marketing is again, when you are going out and you're pushing your product on other people. You are putting up a billboard, you're doing advertising, you're cold calling, you're sending unsolicited emails, you are doing direct mail, those postcards that you sometimes get in your mailbox. That is outbound marketing. So outbound, outbound marketing often gets a bad rap because not that many people really um, do a lot of outbound marketing these days. People are pulling back from it because there are so many disadvantages for outbound marketing. For one, it is expensive. Um, advertising, um, setting up the right uh, tools and platforms to really do cold calls, if you're going to do it right, can be expensive. Um, it has a lot of, um, you know, it's a high cost with very low return. So outbound marketing often again gets a bad rap and because there are so many systems these days that block uh, people from either calling you, um, people delete emails, especially if they don't know you, um, and people don't really watch commercials anymore. I think I read a statistic that 29% of all those that watch television, only 29% actually watch commercials. And of course, billboard marketing, you know, we see those, we keep moving. So outbound marketing can cost a lot, put a lot of effort into it, but often doesn't yield the results that we want. However, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why you still should have outbound marketing as part of your marketing mix. So inbound marketing, just to switch over, again is you think about what is important to your clients your customers what are they talking about what are their current needs and you are constantly putting out content in various ways whether it's on your blog and podcasts on videos through social media through newsletters you're constantly putting out contact to draw them in so content marketing is extremely important and should definitely be a part of your mix if you've listened to my channel at all, you know that I primarily focus on content marketing and inbound marketing. However, as I mentioned, you should have a mix of both, both inbound marketing and outbound marketing. My personal opinion is that your inbound marketing should be much higher than your outbound marketing. I would say a good mix is 80% inbound marketing and 20% outbound marketing. So reason why outbound marketing, I believe is still relevant and still should be used is because first of all, inbound marketing is a long game. So you can be putting out content and sending newsletters and working on podcasts and all kinds of thought leadership, which takes time, but there's no guarantee that those customers are gonna come right away. Um, that you're always going to be hitting the mark with your content and there's a lot of content out there so the beauty of outbound marketing although outbound marketing is very difficult 
you get more immediate feedback and results. So if you're doing 100 cold calls in a month and you have three or four of those that hit, which is still a low return, but if they hit, that's five new clients you got or at least five potential clients that you're taking it to the next level with. So inbound marketing is extremely important. You need to do that but outbound marketing can have faster results on taking clients or potential clients to the next level in your client journey and your buying journey. So other examples are of outbound marketing that can be helpful and useful and mixed into your marketing mix is sponsorships. Sponsorships, um, you know, when you buy sponsors um, or a sponsorship slot for an event or, um, a gala or just a cause, um, I see that as a way of raising your profile and to some degree, a little bit of branding. I think what's important when you're doing inbound and outbound marketing is to realize that you have to change your expectations of what is supposed to happen because different results will come with each. So if you're doing a sponsorship and you decide to maybe even do a high level sponsor, um, level. You may not necessarily get a call the next day, but you have to see it as people, a lot of people saw my company name. So when I'm ready to talk to that audience again, or do something different with that audience, they will at least remember, hopefully my company name. So I'm bringing, building awareness with that audience. If you're doing a trade show, that is outbound marketing, being ready to have those giveaways to attract people to your booth, to your table, capturing those names, capturing email addresses so you can cold call or call them and have another conversation with them about your business. So as you can see, those things are sometimes necessary. So if you read some articles, they will completely throw away outbound marketing and have us all always focus on inbound marketing, but I believe there should be a mix of both. So just wanted to talk about inbound marketing versus outbound marketing and why it is important to have both in your marketing mix and advantages and disadvantages of both. If you have any questions or if you need help creating the right marketing mix for your company, feel free to reach out to me at lee, L-E-E, -E, at ashbyandwatts.com. Thank you and have an amazing day.